Welcome back to my film room. I'm Lawrence Owen. Guys, don't forget, smash that like button and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell so that you're notified next time we upload a video or go live. And let's get into this film room on Stefan Gilmore and how he's played for the 2022 Indianapolis Colts. Is he still that lockdown corner that everybody uh, remembers when he was Defensive Player of the Year? Well, let's take a look at the film and find out. So on this first play, as you can see, we got a single high safety. We got all these linebackers and corners just kind of covering the middle of the uh, middle area here and four down linemen getting ready to go after the quarterback. Now, as we watch this play develop, you see Gilmore's on the outside. He's protecting that outside. They are in zone. He sees the tight end coming out into the flat, quick pass. His job come up here, make this tackle. How does he make the tackle against a tight end? Well, Great job, great angle, as you saw the angle of pursuit, closing in, knowing that the tight end is trying to come out here to the outside to get that edge. Gilmore's not going to let him get that edge, right? He ran kind of at that angle right here to get the, to the outside edge because he knows he's got help on the inside. So he's got to make sure he keeps that outside leverage against the tight end. As we get closer, he what a what a play here. Ducks down, plants both feet, lowers his head, dives, bam, right through the legs. For sure tackle. And he was on the outside leverage as well. That's a great rep right there by Stephon Gilmore. On this play, you see Gilmore out here again on the outside edge on a basic cover two look. You're going to notice that he's up against Cortland Sutton almost the entire game. He's going to be flipping sides all day doesn't matter where where it is he follows Cortland Sutton all over the field now let's watch as this play happens you see that it is again a screen pass Gilmore has the outside edge as soon as he th as soon as he sees Russell Wilson throw this ball he plants that back foot and comes right up and watch what he does he forces impact into Sutton and begins pushing him back. Now, he's going to lose this to Sutton. Sutton's going to pancake him down. But because what he's doing is he's sealing off that outside edge. Because, again, the speed of this defense for the Indianapolis Colts is their strength. So, what he's got to do is make sure that, that this player does not get the outside edge. He does a good job pushing Sutton back out and forcing him to come inside. And because he's able to do that, we have tackles that are available from the team. Great job right there. Great job by Stephon Gilmore on that screenplay. Very, very good. Here's a play where the Broncos are in the red zone. Gilmore playing way off Sutton, right? He realizes, hey, they got to get all the way past the 10-yard line to get this first down. So he's playing very, very soft right here. Let's watch the play. Russell obviously seen this immediately and throws this ball immediately out to Cortland Sutton. Gilmore reads and reacts to this pretty quick. He plants that back foot and begins running up the field. Now, tackling ability is pretty impressive actually here because watch what happens here. What a stiff arm right to the face mask by Cortland Sutton right here on Stephon Gilmore. Normally this... He puts him down. That's a free run all the way to the touchdown. Stephon Gilmore knows this. What's he do? Watch what happens. As he's being planted, he reaches out and just grabs his jersey. He just grabs the jersey. He knows he's being planted, but man, what strong hands by a cornerback. Stephon Gilmore, even at his age, able to just grab and pull him down and then uses his other arm to grab the foot as he's falling, making sure Sutton doesn't get that extra yardage. That's a great open field tackle by Stephon Gilmore. Here's just a really good defensive play call in the first place. Gus Bradley uh, with a, a really good uh, nickel corner blitz here as you're going to watch him come in. That's going to pull this tackle off. And free run right at Russell Wilson. But here's Gilmore over here on the side of Sutton, right? But his job isn't man. His job is to protect the backside of this end zone right here. Make sure no one catches 
So he does a great job not being fooled by Cortland. Let's watch the play as it happens. As you see, here comes the corner coming in. Sutton immediately cuts inside as they cross route with the tight end. Now, as it happens, the left tackle has to take on because there's no running back at, or tight end back here on this side. Beautiful play call by Gus Bradley on this one. So you got a free rusher right here coming in. But look, Gilmore, he's not he's not fooled. He's not following. He's just hanging here, waiting, waiting. And because he's just sitting here waiting, waiting, look now. Russell Wilson has nowhere to throw this football. He could throw it to him, but that's not going anywhere. Gilmore, perfect coverage. Great coverage. Great. There's no one open on this play. No one. That's an easy play and an easy sack for the Indianapolis Colts. Because not only did Gilmore cover his guy well, everybody on the team did. Because, I mean, he even lets up after he sees the sack. You know, I mean, come on. It's it's over. It's over. Great job. All right, we have it again. Gilmore and Sutton locked man on man. Now, as you see, he's the only one playing press right here where everybody else is playing back off their coverage. Let's keep an eye on this because him playing press actually messes this play up a little bit considering, you know, Russell Wilson sees off coverage here. Let's watch the play. As it develops, Sutton has the outside. You see Gilmore. He cuts inside. Russ thinks, all right, he's going to be open right here because, you know, Gilmore is got his back to him. So there's no way he can defend this. Watch how Gilmore utterly, that was beautiful. Now, this was a bad pass in the first place. You know, uh, had Sutton actually stopped and turned on a button dime, then maybe he would have been able to catch this football. But the fact that, look at where Gilmore is. His back has turned the ball, you know. But he's keeping an eye. Sutton cuts inside. Watch the movement. His whole upper body and legs. He turns that and stays with him the whole way. Wow. That's just impressive. That's, even when he's off balance, he still has coverage. That's that's unbelievable. Now, on this play, it's just great coverage right here by Stephon Gilmore, but I'm going to point out that Russell Wilson just looks to Sutton way, way too much. Way too much, because there's open guys right here on the field on this play. As we watch the play develop, you got him again, bottom of the screen. Keep an eye on him as this play develops. He's staring him down the whole time, but if you look, you got a throw right here, you got a throw right here, you got flat route. So on his right side, he's got options. This is not an option. Gilmore is not just in his hip pocket. He's perfectly locked up with him the whole way down the field. Why? Why, Russell? Gil, that's, that's a lockdown coverage right there. You can't get better than that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. He pins him to the outside. Russell would have to make the perfect throw. And even with that perfect, even with a perfect throw, Gilmore's in perfect position to make a play on the ball if it's anywhere in the vicinity of Sutton on this play. There's no reason Russell Wilson should have thrown that football. Not when you got guys open here and in the flat. You why? That, that makes no sense. You got a guy here, guy here. If he throws this right down the seam like here, that's a good possibility for a reception. He's definitely got a flat route. At least you might only get five yards out of that. But, hey, it's something. This, this is nothing because, you know, Stephon Gillilock allowed nothing. Hey, guys, please smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, and tag that notification bell so that you're notified next time I go live. Don't forget, you can also share this video to your favorite social media, and please open up that description of the video. In there, you find a link to my Patreon, which is only five bucks a month. You get all of my content, plus Patreon-specific content, and of course, my merch shop right here.
Here's another play as you see him locked down. There, now, the target's not to him, but we're just going to show why uh, Sutton was pretty much. I mean, Sutton is, is Russell Wilson's number one main target. Sutton had 11 targets in this game. 11. Five catches, no touchdowns, two pass breakups, and an interception going into that vicinity because Gilmore is the man, okay? As we watch, as I said, this play does not go to Sutton because... I mean, where would you have thrown it? <laughs> Gilmore legitimately had him the whole way. The whole way. Look, he's got perfect coverage right here, pinning him between him and his guys. Watch as this goes. Oh, my goodness. All the way down. Nothing, 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 nothing. The only thing that Russell can do right here is dump it off, right? He might have a pass here, but all he can do on this play is dump it off because Cortland Sutton, there is nothing to throw to Sutton. The whole way down the field. The entire way down the field. Man, Gilmore's good. And here's another play where, I mean, even playing, what, eight yards off of him. Russell Wilson has nowhere to go with this football. Watch. Beautifully done. He covers... Look how he turns his hip as soon as he saw. Watch this. Look at that. Right? He's following Sutton eye for eye. Watching. As soon as he even slightly sees him plant. Right there. He plants. Right? Gilmore. As soon as he sees him plants. Has his feet together. Hips getting ready to turn. Bam. He just spins. Plants. Turns. Any step for step with him. Wow. I mean, a normal cornerback, that probably loses him. Granted, it's a deep out route. Deep out corner route. Gilmore had him step for step the whole way. Beautifully done. Here we are again. Cortland Sutton locked up down here. And Russell goes to him. Let's watch. Look at that push off. First off, look at that push off right there near, right there. I mean, he comes in on him. He locks in and pushes Gilmore with everything he's got because he knows he's got a little hook here, right? He stops, turns, Gilmore plants, realizes, oh, there's the reception. He comes back. It's a good, good play right here by Russell Wilson. Throws it away from Gilmore, so Gilmore couldn't close and make a play on the ball. But Gilmore closes very quickly. And look how he then, as soon as Sutton stops and turns to square up, Gilmore doesn't just dive at him. Gilmore squares himself up with him to prepare to make this tackle. Because if he dies, Sutton could go left or right, miss the tackle, and that just looks bad. But he doesn't do that. He squares up, waits for Sutton to make that move. He comes in, dives, tackles, pulls him down, doesn't allow the first down. That's amazing. Great job, great coverage, even on short coverage by Stephon Gilmore. All right, here's the play where Cortland Sutton had any yards at all on this, on this game, right? Uh, anything, the reason why he had over 10 yards of reception. And it was because of, well, let's face it, all right, Gilmore thought he had help over the top on this, and then the referee steps in and says, no, nah, you can't have it. All right, so we got it top of the screen right here. Watch the play. Yeah, and then the referee stepped in and got him. Now, you question, Why? Why did Gilmore step down from this, right? Because as you watch, he lets him pass him. He lets him well past him. There's a reason. You got a safety here. You got another guy right here. Gilmore's thinking, and if you watch closely, he looks back. Sutton looks back. He looks back. He figures, hey, I got, I got a guy over the top. If he throws this too far deep, safety gets the interception. So he's playing shallow. He's playing the bracketing over under right here. Okay? Bracketing over under. 
thinking that if this is overthrown or on target, safety gets it and makes a play, maybe interception. If Russell underthrows it, he comes up underneath, makes a play on the ball. But, referee got in the way. Sutton was able to jump up, make this catch. And that's the only reason why Sutton had big yardage in this game. 70-some yards on five catches. Had he not done that, it would have been five catches for, you know, uh, a lot less than 74. I'll tell you that much because that was a chunk right there. Gilmore played that proper. The referee got in the way. All right, we're on the last play of my All-22 for Stephon Gilmore. I apologize that this is not the interception because, well, that play was not on the All-22 that was provided for me, so I wasn't able to break it down. But this is that pass breakup that ended the game. Keep an eye. They're locked up right here as we watch. Man, that's and he even pushes off a little bit here. Pushes off to create separation, which is probably why Russell throws this ball, thinking since he pushed off, he's got room. Gilmore, however, beautifully done. Beautifully done. I mean, look at that. Look how he stretches out there. Knocks that ball down. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, good Lord. Like Superman flying through the air. Great job. I mean, he was able to, to close in and get that done. No problem at all. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you believe that Gilly Lock is still that guy, a top five corner in the NFL, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know how you think uh, about my film rooms. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Cole Slaw. And as usual, I want you to have a good one. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.